visualize a gallon. That's all the water in the world. Salt water, fresh water, icebergs. Take a tablespoon. That's the amount of fresh water in the world. And 18% of that tablespoon is the Great Lakes. As a boy, I fell in love with the Great Lakes. Like most people, I had no idea that they contain over 20% of all the fresh water on the surface of our planet. And I never would have expected the water itself to be threatened. Here is where the, the lake level is. And behind me is where it should be. New numbers released today show the Lake Michigan water level is at an all-time low. It's the lowest average water level recorded on Lake Michigan and Huron. Record lows over the last 14 years has been disastrous. I mean, look at it. That's a tragedy, you know? That is just not right. Low water was affecting people, but despite the media coverage and expert analysis, there were no clear answers. So I set out to discover the real reason the Great Lakes had reached their lowest water levels ever. Back in 88, all these docks were perfectly level. The problem is more pervasive than what they're admitting to. The government doesn't have the right to vote to do something that violates the public trust. You know, Mark Twain has said, whiskey's for drinking, water's for fighting. It's the lifeblood of our community. And we're below the crisis level. And we'll have coastal communities that will start looking like the Aral Sea. The Aral Sea, very much like Lake Michigan, subjected to an environmental disaster that drank it dry. We should never allow what happened in Kazakhstan happen in the United States. If we don't act now, our grandchildren will live to the day and say, why the hell didn't they do it then? The search for truth led me far beyond the Great Lakes to discover that protecting fresh water will be one of humanity's greatest challenges. The Great Lakes are probably the greatest resource that the United States has. We can run out of oil, we can run out of fuel. We'll figure out a way to get from point A to point B. If we run out of water, if we don't take care of our water, we'll just become another dead planet.